Hello everybody, this is Alexey Kavazin, president of Firebird Foundation. Today I would like to discuss with you a very interesting feature of Firebird, which is not known practically to nobody. This feature called it parallel reading. Uh, not so many people know that since Firebird 4.04 it is possible to perform parallel reading of consistent data in Firebird. There is an article wrote uh, by Denis Simonov, author of Firebird documentation, and Vladislav Horson, core developer of Firebird, which is devoted to this subject. There is also a sample tool uh, to demonstrate the benefits of parallel reading. Uh, the tool performs the massive parallel export. In this presentation, I would like to show some basics and some theory behind uh, this uh, parallel reading feature. So let's start. Parallel reading is used in parallel backup uh, with jpac.exe in Firebird 5. And it is available since Firebird 4.04. The idea of the feature is that it allows to scale reads consistently in parallel connections in order to speed up some massive reads, for example, export operations. Let's consider how it works. As you probably know, Firebird database file consists of pages of equal size. There are several types of pages, and each page serves its purpose. In order to store a data, Firebird allocates data pages. On the data pages, we have records. Uh, for example, if you have created some table and start to insert records one by one, these records will be written to data page. The more records will be written, the more data pages we need. It means that we need organize data pages into the structure. Uh, for this purpose, Firebird uses pointer page. Pointer page is actually a array of pointers, of pointers to data pages. Uh, and we have pointer page and certain amount of data pages uh, linked from it. Okay, but if the, the table is, you know, big, it will be not enough to have one pointer page and Firebird will cre create a chain of pointer pages. So there will, will appear the pointer page one, then pointer page two, and there could be many, many pointer pages, like thousands of pointer pages for the really big tables. As a result, we have a, a structure like a tree. So when we have a pointer pages linked as a chain, and we have on each pointer page uh, an array of data pages. Uh, Every pointer page has specific amount of physical addresses, physical numbers of data pages. But for us, uh, it is more interesting to know that each data page on the data page itself has the unique number inside the table. So for example, when we have a pointer page one and when the database grows, more and more, more, and more records are being inserted, uh, and we have more and more data pages, data pages will be enumerated inside, like from one to, for example, 480. When will be allocated the next pointer page, pointer page two, and the first data page on the second uh, on the second pointer page 
will have the number plus one from the last page on the pointer page one. So the numbers on data pages, you know, the internal numbering of data pages is sequential and it is unified through the table. It means, it means that any data page has unique number and so it gives us a really suitable mechanism to identify the physical location of the record. Uh, record physical record number. It is called RDB, the B key. And it consists of two parts. The first part is the internal number of data pages in the sequence of data pages for the specific table and the number of record on this data page. As a result, we can group records, right? Because if every record has a physical address, can we identify groups of records which are located on specific data pages or pointer pages? And the answer, yes, we can. In uh, Fibot 4, 404, a period of function make the back key, which is available for general use. You can create a query like this, like uh, on this slide, and uh, identify and select records which are physically located on the specific pointer page. It means that we can do the parallel reading. This is what the JBAC exe is doing in Firebird 5. So it uses the function make the big key to split the table using the physical uh, addresses of records uh, and using as, as an input the numbers of pointer pages. So it means like we can easily create own JPEG exe. Well, yes, but not so easily because when we have the parallel reading like this in separate connections, it means that uh, every connection will have a different transaction. And as you remember, the transaction uh, provides the different view. If, for example, the table which we are uh, we are trying to export or trying to read in parallel is being changed in the same moment. Uh, it is possible that the transaction one and transaction two will see the different subsets of records because of the different transactions numbers. And as a result, we need some kind of unified view to share the same view from the uh, in different connections. And in Firebird, we have such option, we have such mechanism. It is called shared, shared snapshot. The idea is the following. Uh, it is possible to get the transaction number, the actual transaction number of some uh, main transaction or the first transaction. And when start other transactions, uh, using the special syntax or special calls of Firebird API and start it using the snapshot number which we obtained from the first transaction. As a result, we will have the consistent view of the data in parallel connections. What can we expect in terms of performance uh, from this feature? Well, a lot, a lot. Uh, we have made testing uh, with the tool, with the open source tool, which is described in the article, Parallel Reading, uh, and measure it on some server, on some computers, what will be the effect of exporting 
data from the big table to the CSV. Uh, and it was like five times faster. Of course, this uh, improvement, like five times faster improvement, depends on the uh, depends on the nature of your data and depends on the hardware. Uh, but definitely, the result will be worth the efforts. So I really recommend to implement this feature, especially if you need some export, for example, of some large table uh, for BI purposes or for whatever purposes. What are the next steps? So all details uh, about the feature, how it works, how it works with API of Firebird, with SQL and with all examples, uh, you will be able to find in the article Parallel Reading in Firebird SQL written by Denis Simonov, one of the authors of Firebird documentation and Vladislav Horson, one of the core developers of Firebird. Uh, the article is really detailed. So with all examples and so on. Uh, it also considers the advanced moments of the solution, how to divide uh, the table for the effective reading, how to calculate how many workers, I mean parallel connections, we will need for the effective uh, export and so on. And also in this article, uh, there is a description of this open source tool, FBCSV export, which essentially implements the ideas in the of the article uh, and provides the sample uh, implementation of uh, the export. This tool uh, performs really simple tasks. It exports the table into the CSV file. Uh, on GitHub, you can download the binaries and also you can download the uh, uh, examples help for the tool, some results also included into the table. So everything which is necessary to start uh, using the parallel reading in Firebird. Thank you for your attention. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free uh, to send a mail to ask questions to the specified email here. You will find all the links uh, to the article and to the presentation in the description of this video too. Thank you.